Silent Hill, which looks amazing. Any thoughts on that? Um, so you have you have okay, so it's like a two parter. So they announced two different things for Silent Hill. They had the short message, which is free and available to play today. Um, which I thought that was like, wow, that's pretty damn cool. But it's in first person. So I'm a bit bummed about that one. But I, I feel like it definitely has like a is that game PT vibe to it definitely because of that first person aspect of it the the scare and how they're going down the hallways the way that just the way that they showed off that trailer so i think i don't know how long the the game is i'm sure that immediately once everybody found out that it was free to play you could get it today um i'm sure there's people that are are streaming it right now and um i I feel like it can't be too long of a game, especially if it's free. <laughs> what do you think? Like, <laughs> what, 20 minutes? Day, I'm sure it's still a very enjoyable experience. And then you have, um, you know, Silent Hill 2 being made for PS5 here, which looking at it, what they showed, see a couple little new puzzles in there. I don't know about the camera angles that they were going for, though, because it felt it felt a bit different. Again, I, it's been a long while since I played Silent, um, Silent Hill 2. Um, but it, it felt more like over the shoulder body cam kind of look rather than what it was before. But I have to go back and, and, and really look at it. But it's still Silent Hill and I love horror games. So I got no problem with that either. So they had two really great announcements to come with that. And I know that's not your thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, but you know, shout out to all the people who love it, right? And, I, and we're going to talk about it regardless. Even though, and what's interesting that even though it's not my thing, it always makes the list. I find that very funny, right? Um, so, so the other thing too, I wanted to, to mention as I was thinking about it, a lot of the games, or maybe it's just me, had the wish list now after the trailer was shown. It's almost like hinting that a lot of these titles, maybe not now, maybe two years from now, they're going to be on PC. And we've seen that trend happen for PlayStation during the pandemic, where a lot of the games that they've had in their, in their catalog started making its way to PC. We see God of War there. Uh, we see Spider-Man there. We see Miles Morales there. We see uh, Horizon there, right? So we're seeing a lot of titles go there. So so to me, it was almost like a preview without saying it really officially that some of these games, I wouldn't be surprised to see, you know, Stellar Blade make it to PC at some point. Uh, and what else we have? Of course, that Death Stranding is going to make it regardless. So we know that, right? But I see a lot of the PlayStation titles uh, going to PC after release within two years i would say yeah that that seems to be the marker so so that wish list now uh, i started seeing on the screen i was like hmm is that is that a so i, I gotta to, to add on to that though so i noticed for the games that didn't have dates so they even give like they didn't give a year or anything like that so silent hill was one of them i believe and it just says in development for ps5 you know i I feel like that was their little easy way out. Like, we can't give you a date, so we'll give you a wish list now. Right. <laughs> option, like, here to remind you, like, you'll be updated when we get this date um, so you don't forget about it. Yeah, for And they'll sure. probably, you know, when you wish list something, it's automatically tied to your email somewhere, whether it be PlayStation, Xbox, or, or Steam PC over there, um, where they'll send you, like, you know, email, update, something, whether it be for the game, or just for their brand in general. Right. Building their email list. <laughs> right. Right. You got to do that. Yeah. I, I think it's it's a good move. And it's easier for us to say, hey, we know we're waiting for this thing. All right. It gets here when it gets here. Yeah, pretty much. But I also feel like sometimes that is also a good way for them to get the initial gauge about the interest in it, depending on how many people are going to be wish listing it. So that way, like later down the line, if whatever they need additional funding, they need whatever it is, or like, hey, this is how many people. I'm not. I'm not just saying this for for um, Konami. It's just for anybody. Like, put a wish list. You know, wish list now um, to show like there's people interested in our games. Please provide support, money, whatever it may be, to have that those numbers back it up. 